Here's an important fun fact about today. I love farmer's markets. I love them. <sighs> Look at this. We're surrounded by beautiful bouquets of flowers. Oh yeah, that freesia is what frees ya. Farmer's markets are wondrous places. For instance, what is this? Nobody knows. Today we're at the Santa Monica's Farmer's Market, volunteering with an organization called Food Forward as part of their Farmer's Market Recovery Program. Now, the purpose of this program is to bring fresh fruit and produce to those who might not otherwise get the opportunity to have it, which is pretty wonderful considering how much we take fruit for granted. I brought with me some Have a Heart Day volunteers to help out, so let's get started. So here's the gaggle of volunteers. Awesome, so exciting. So welcome guys, it's really nice to meet you all. I'm so glad you're here today. Um, my name is Kelsey, so I will be your Glean Team Leader. Basically what we're here today to do is to collect excess produce from the vendors at the farmer's market. Um, they donate everything to us. Our job is to collect it, um, box it up, and then distribute it to our receiving agencies, um, which are the foundations that we give out this produce to. So it's a pretty cool process. One, two, three, produce! Yeah! I'm almost ready. But now I'm really ready. Because of the pun. <laughs> so basically how it's gonna work, we're gonna split into two teams. You're gonna head out with your team. You're each gonna have a cart, have all of these boxes. You'll approach a vendor and always just say, hi guys, how's it going? Did you guys want any boxes today? One box. One box for Jimenez. Really good boxing. Really good box. So it's just that simple. It's so great. Two boxes for Mud Creek. This is going by so fast, it's more like food fast forward. Farmers bring produce every week. Sometimes they have produce left over. So when they're handed a box and invited to donate leftover produce to a cause like Food Forward, where the food is going to be then paid forward by giving it again free to another organization that's going to be able to use it, farmers are all on board. They're happy to have their produce go to a good cause. We donate to Food Forward because every week we will have some other fruit that it, it, it might not appear to be of the the best quality, but it's still, you know, it still can be eaten. And rather than just throw that away, it's it's better to, to give that to someone that can utilize it and um, enjoy it. We donate to Food Forward because it's getting good food to people that need it. How's it going, guys? Whoa! Do you guys want boxes? Yes, please. Sure. Can, can you tell me about this? That's the Buddha's Hand Citron. Wow. It's in the citrus family, but there's no meat or juice in it. It's all oil and rind. This is great, it's just, it's, this is a really good eye catcher to draw people over to your booth, you know? Like I'll slice it, put it in my salad. Do you guys ever just put them on your hands? Oh yeah. Ah, get your produce. Yeah. yeah. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Cheers. Ooh, six, six. Wow. These guys are amazing. They donate a lot to us. All of the farms get a tax write-off, so we track how much produce and the weights of whatever they distribute. We have gleaned since 2009 about 16 million pounds of produce. The Farmers Market Program in particular can, in, can glean about 40,000 pounds among the 18 markets we go to. Our goal this year for the Farmers Market Recovery Program is to recover about 500,000 pounds of produce from the markets that we work with. Not only are people getting fresh produce, they're getting the same produce that you're getting in LA's best restaurants. And so that great produce gets distributed everywhere in LA and everybody gets to enjoy the very best that's grown in California. The people that receive the produce really, really appreciate it because a lot of times at these food pantries, they're getting cans of olives or, you know, old crackers that things that have long shelf life but aren't really healthy. So when they get the fresh produce from us, um, it's, you know, they really, really appreciate it because it, it's something they don't see and they can't afford or they don't even have access to in their neighborhood. Holy guacamole! Whew. 
Nothing like the heaviest load on the top. The impact I say is really just narrative too, um, you know, not just numbers, but just the impact we have on someone's health and happiness when they receive, receive these, pro these produce donations. Thank you. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Take care. Thank Yay! Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. This is going to be so great. It's yeah. been a great day. Yeah. And at the end of our harvest, we took the fruits of our labor straight over to St. Joseph Center's Food Pantry, where we donated the goods to be repurposed and redistributed to those in need. Wow, guys, check out this sumptuous bounty. Man, not only was today super fun, it was also super healthy because collecting all this great food and produce was really good cardio. Holy guacamole! But more than that, the experience is going to bring healthy, fresh fruits and vegetables to families that otherwise don't really have access to it. I'd like to give a big thank you to our volunteers for running around and collecting all those boxes. A massive thank you to Food Forward for doing this every week, which I think is incredible. I didn't know organizations like this existed, and it'd be good to find out if there are some in your area. If there are, leave a comment in the comments below. I think something a lot of us take for granted is access to fresh fruit and produce. I know for me personally, I love nothing more than fruits and vegetables because that was kind of in limited supply. So remember, next time your mom or dad is like, hey, eat your veggies, just take a minute and be like, wow, thank God I can. Yes, we can. So I had to. I'm sorry. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, a huge thank to our partners at Subaru for making today possible. Subaru has something called the Subaru Love Promise, which is a pledge to do right by the communities in which we all live. Together, Subaru and Have a Heart Day both believe in making a positive impact in our world and in our neighborhoods. If you guys want to learn more about the Subaru Love Promise or fast food, fast food. If you guys want to learn more about the Subaru Love Promise or Food Forward and how to harvest your own produce, please check out the links in the description below. And if you want to rub shoulders, <laughs> yeah, with other Have a Heart Day volunteers, be sure to check out the links in the description below and come volunteer with us. It's a pretty great time. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, you want to do Have a Great Day? Okay, one, two, three. Have, have a great, great day. day. Yeah, okay. Now, let me show you how I eat oranges. <laughs>